What's up, you guys? It's the Prego sisters. Pregnant for way too long. Ay, 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 ay. <laughs> but holy crap, you guys, what's up? We're pregnant, both of us, at the same time. We literally wanted this ever since we were little. And she didn't know I was trying at the time, but we we're like, let's get pregnant together. And then we're like, you know what? Like one of us could idea. struggle, one of us, you know, something could happen. So we're like, let's just not. Yeah. And here we are. <laughs> Thought it'd be fun to do like a Q&A video and also like a comparison video of just our pregnancies. So um, the day we found out that I was pregnant was November 7th. Um, and then I didn't tell our family until Thanksgiving day. And then the day I announced on Instagram. Was the 5th was of it, January. Was it the 5th or the 4th? I want to say it was the 4th. Um... The, oh, fourth. the fourth. Yeah, so I announced on the fourth. So you were three months at that time. So I was, yeah, I was 12 weeks and a couple days when I posted on Instagram. Yes. And I found out, so I found out at like four weeks, two days, told my family at seven weeks, and then told the world at 12, and like I was 12 and a half weeks. Yay! Yay! <laughs> I told my family, so I found out Jensen was pregnant. And we kind of had been having some issues, so I'm like, I'm just gonna tell my family, tell her, fa tell the family of her fertility issues. Yeah. And so we found out Jensen was pregnant. A week later, I told my sisters and my parents, just kind of like nonchalant, like let's not make this a huge deal. That whole time, like when Jensen announced she was pregnant, and me telling my family I'm, a, I'm having a hard time getting pregnant, I was pregnant. I was maybe like one or two weeks, so I was super early, wouldn't have known. Um, but it's kind of funny because I told everyone and they're like, were you freaking lying to us? Because <laughs> I was pregnant that whole time. But so I found out I was pregnant December 9th. So Jensen told us on Thanksgiving. So it was like literally a week and a half after. So crazy. And then I told my family the week of Christmas. And then I announced, yes, or two days ago. Two days ago? Two days ago. Saturday? No, Saturday. Oh, so three days ago. Three days ago. 72 hours. So I told them when I was seven and a half weeks. Um, and then I announced when I was 12 weeks and a couple days. Yay! So that's it's the timeline. Literally, like, <laughs> such crazy timing because it really is supposed to be. It's meant to be. It's meant to be. But I, I don't want to get into too much of like the details because I feel like the questions are gonna or people yes. are gonna ask. Yes. So should we get sure. into that now? Let's do it. Okay. First question: How far apart are y'all? We are twenty five days apart. <laughs> <laughs> Less than a month. So if I go late, Brindley goes early. We could have a baby on the same day or what I was the thinking, same couple days. Like, what if we're both in labor at the same? <laughs> I mean, with our freaking luck, we would. I know. Oh and what's gosh. like, so there's two things that I want. I want to be able to like be there for Jensen and go visit her in the hospital and have time with her baby. Yeah. So I want us to be spread apart. Like I don't want us to be in labor at the same time because then we won't yeah. see each other no, for a No, we're going to be hibernating while. in our own houses and then I we're going to have to split divide between the family. So I really hope those 25 days are legit and or it is maybe gonna I happen. go early and who knows. Yeah. But I guess it doesn't really matter as long yeah. as we have our healthy but babies. Like, but that so would be miserable. We were trying to calculate like our 
due dates through our periods before we went to our first doctor's appointment. And at that point, we were kind of just like, well, maybe once farther along or... So we didn't really know, but the day I went to the doctor, we calculated the days literally and the literally days. 25. It's crazy. To our due dates. My heck. Our babies are gonna be besties. I know. Okay, did either of you think the other was pregnant before they told each other? No. No. <laughs> literally, had because the week before, um, Brinley told us that she was having infertility <laughs> stuff. So I was like, holy crap. And it was hard for me because I was like, I... Because I've, I've told you guys before, I got pregnant so easy and I made it like kind of clear to my family. I'm like, oh my gosh, we got pregnant on the first time. And then when Brinley told me all about that, I was like, oh, like I felt terrible. And then also I was like, that's just so hard that I was able to get pregnant so quick. And Brinley, they were looking at like a year long journey of getting pregnant. So it was kind of just like, I mean, she'll go into that. But I, it was hard because I was like, Frick, like this was so easy for me and now we're gonna have, I don't know. Yeah. So literally so surprised when she told us cause I was like, there's no way you couldn't have done that. But <laughs> yeah. you did. Well, and when I, like when Jensen told us, like I was so like, like with Lindsay, I knew because she picked fights with me. She was super like all over the place. <laughs> but with Jensen, I, I don't feel like I recognized cause I was too like busy thinking about like Yourself? me trying to get pregnant. Yeah. And so like, even when I was, I'm trying to think back of when I was with her and she didn't tell me. And honestly, a lot of like, times. yeah. And I had to watch myself just a little bit, but. Well, and like we would go to Pilates and she was super out of breath, but I was just <laughs> kind of like, it was like a new workout she's never done. So I was just like, I don't yeah, know. No. And I honestly had no idea. I knew that they were wanting to try, but I didn't know if they had started yet. Yeah. Um, but yeah, neither of us knew, which was crazy. Cause I'm actually pretty good at guessing. Yeah. Like you called it when Lindsay was pregnant. Yeah. <clears throat> and I was scared. I was like, Brinley's like so in tune. I was like, <laughs> she's going to watch what you out. say. <laughs> okay. I mean, we can talk about this cause I feel like we haven't talked about, but joint baby shower. Hmm. Well, this is what I think. Let's hear what you think. And then I'll say what I think. We haven't even talked about this. So this is, yeah, we could be like <laughs> <laughs> both pregnant hormones going at you. I personally think we do it separately. This okay. is why. Because we still got some time between us and we're going to want to do it at different times. Yeah. But, and I'm not trying to be snobby. No, I think I feel the same but way. But if people oh, bring no, a, <laughs> don't feel the same way. <laughs> no, keep About going. Presents? <laughs> I would just say like, okay, so if I had two, like two friends that were sisters that were doing a baby shower, it would be hard to buy them both something and take it. <laughs> and I know like people will do that and that sounds super snobby of me, <laughs> but like I want it to be my baby's presence and I want your baby to have their presence. Totally. My thought process on it is I feel like it's both our first babies and I think it's so fun that we're doing it together, but we should like have our own thing. Like yeah. say our second or third babies, we, happened to freaking get pregnant again at the same time Maybe i feel like that's then. a different story but yeah. like with your first baby i feel like it like selfishly like i want it to be like all about me um but yeah but that's okay we'll have like a a push party or something <laughs> <laughs> have you heard of push presents no <laughs> Oh my gosh, you gotta get on that. A push present? I'm so out of the loop with It's everything. what your husband gives you after you push out your baby. Oh. And it's good. So you gotta, yeah. It's good mm. stuff. Okay. Mm -hmm. Brinley, when is your gender reveal? Mm. So, anytime this week. I did an early blood test. Uh, we don't last know when Thursday. this video is going out, but. Yeah. As of right now, she doesn't know the gender, but she's done. When. But what day did you do the test? Give them like so a So it's been, so the, the 20th. So it's been five days and it says seven to 10. So it could be this weekend or next week. And it just pops up on my online account. <clears throat> I'm going to designate someone to look at it, get the stuff ready, and we're going to do a review. Oh, so excited. I literally, I, I think Brinley's having a girl. But then, a girl too. I found the Shetley's method last night. I'm not going to explain what it is. You can look it up. <laughs> According to that, 
We're both having boy. boys. <laughs> We're both having boys. Okay. <laughs> um, are you both still going to stay active? I really want to. I feel like right now for me, I'm still kind of in the morning sickness. Don't really know how I'm going to feel each day mode. So if I feel good, I'll work out. And sometimes that will make me feel sick. And then other days, like today, I'm just like, <sighs> thinking yeah. about working out makes me sick. <laughs> yeah. But you've been able to go every day. Yeah. So we have different schedules too. Like Brinley has to go to the work in the morning. And it's like, I wouldn't want to work out at the end of the day because I'm so tired at the end of the day. But yeah, so I, I mean, I've been able to work out. It's sometimes my workout is pathetic, but I've been really trying to make it a goal to be as active as I can. Just because first I think it's so healthy for like the circulation in my body and like my blood to flow and like my heart rate to pound. Like I just think it's so healthy for my body to still do that right now. And yeah, so I've been just kind of like taking it as I feel. If there's a day I don't want to go, I won't work out. But mostly I've been going every morning, which is good. Okay, symptom comparison. This is a good one. So, let's talk about what was your first symptom that you noticed when you were pregnant? Boobs freaking hurt. Okay, same as me. They were huge. I was like, oh my gosh. I'm like, <laughs> I actually feel like, yeah. And that was a little bit before I peed on the stick, but I'm like, but fertility meds. Fertility meds can do that, but I actually noticed like after I found out I was pregnant, they just got huge. Yeah. Oh, and they hurt still. Yeah. They're no fun. <laughs> they were like, oh. Mm. Mm. And then came nausea. Did you have any like dreams? Like vivid dreams? Mm -hmm. Cause that was literally like my first thing was vivid dreams and then it was my boobs. I didn't but, have any. Okay, so then morning sickness we both have been very very sick and i don't even want to say morning sickness just all day all day nausea sickness like we've been pretty i think i mean i feel like you've thrown up more recently but i threw up a ton and i feel like at the beginning you were just nauseous all day but you weren't able to like mm -hmm. ever it. control it yeah and i will say like towards the beginning we were different in a way that if I was nauseous, I had to eat. Oh, and yeah. eating would make me feel better. Eating would make her feel worse. So that's the same. Yeah. Like if I'm nauseous, I can't even like to think about putting food in my stomach makes me want to actually throw up, which I wish I could just stuff my face and have it go away. But I can't. I literally, it's like, oh, I don't even want to think about it. It's so bad. And like to me, when I'm nauseous, I just think the first thing of what I crave and when I eat, it's like a split second better and then sometimes it returns sometimes it doesn't yeah but we've both been pretty sick so that's why I, I sometimes think that we'll have the same gender just because we have been so sick yeah but literally who knows it could be anything but yeah i would say have you like i felt like my i'm still sick so i'm almost 16 weeks and like i threw up the other day i like threw up like three times on sunday which was really random, like I thought I was over it. But my energy, I can tell my energy is better. Do you, you're still probably tired and yeah. low energy. Yeah, I yeah. I don't feel like it's changed really. Um, yeah, I'm just kind of tired all the time. Yeah, but I feel like, cause people are like, oh my gosh, were you exhausted? And I didn't, I don't feel like I felt the full exhaustion because I was just so sick yeah. that that like trumped any other symptoms. But yeah. We both have been sick. I feel like I'm getting better, but then I have days like Sunday and I'm like, what the frick? Yeah. But same. But somebody oh my, messaged oh. that healthy babies make you the sickest. So hopefully we have very healthy babies. My doctor explained it super good. So he's like, the days where you feel really good and you don't have any like increasing symptoms, your HG levels are just staying the same. The days where you feel super crappy, that's when they're like double they're tripling. Spiking. So like, like they go up and down every day. Hmm. So that, that's yeah. why you feel sick, which is a good it, thing. It makes sense, yeah. I mean, it's a good thing, yeah. so. But geez, <sighs> these little rough. babies in us. I literally at like, seven weeks is when I started to feel sick. I was like, 
a thing that is literally, I think my thing said a poppy seed was making me so sick. I'm like, how That's is that crazy. even possible? But <laughs> whatever. What are your cravings? This changes for me every day. Same. And I don't feel like I have this one that I'm like my go-to. Every time. Yeah. Mm. My, my issue is like during the earlier stages, now I'm a little bit better, is if like if I start to get hungry, I'm only craving one thing and if I don't get it, I'm not eating. Like for instance, Wendy's <laughs> had to leave work to go get it. Panda Express had to leave work and go get it. Like all like you if, know what you want. Yeah, but and if I don't get it, I don't want to eat, or I will throw up whatever I eat. <laughs> so that's how I feel now too. I'm like very specific with what I want. Yeah. But at the beginning, I could not like I had bad food aversion. So if I even looked at like a menu, if I looked at anything, thought of the food, I would get so sick. So it was really hard. But now it's nice because I'm decisive. Like I know exactly what I want. Yeah. Which helps Topher out a ton. But whenever I like smell food that's gross, so I literally have been just gaggy. Like I'll just go <laughs> and like Donnie will just look at me and be like, What's wrong? <laughs> like no matter where I'm at, if I smell something gross, See, think of I, something gross. If I, I gag, gag, I throw up. Like I oh. could not just gag and be fine. Oh, I don't Talking about this that. makes me sick. But I really okay, so let's talk about the good yummy foods. So I would say I, I'm craving more salty things. Me too. But I really like fruit, like strawberries Ooh, right now. Yes, oranges, acai bowls. Yes. But I would say I, like when I gra I gravitate more towards salty stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Most used products or items in the first trimester. Zofran and Unisom. I'm just kidding. <laughs> um. Probably bio oil. Yeah, same with you. My stretch mark cream or oil. I literally will put it everywhere and look like a crispy, not a crispy, fresh glazed donut. Literally, Tupper's <laughs> like, you're gonna get into bed. I'm like, yep. Yeah, I am. <laughs> I'll wash the sheets freaking every week, but uh, yeah, I funny. would say my stretch mark oil. And literally, that's it. I didn't have the energy to do any product on my face. <laughs> Washing my hair was the biggest task of the whole year. Still is, but yeah, I'd say my bio oil. Okay, what are you most excited about with being pregnant together? Like just entering motherhood together and having babies that will be so close in age that will be forever friends. Yeah, like, and like we, What's so nice is like, when we just want to complain, we FaceTime each other. Well, that's, we get it. Yeah, that's what I was about to say. I'm like, it's nice to have someone that's literally going through the exact same thing as you. And mm -hmm. it's been nice because it's not like my, I've been feeling great and then Brinley's feeling terrible. It's like, we have both been feeling the same. Mm -hmm. So it's nice, literally, like I FaceTimed her the other day and I was like, I this am sucks. miserable. <laughs> Guys feel crappy. This is annoying. So that's nice that you just have like somebody that literally you can just talk to. Cause it's like, yeah. I mean, I talk to Topher and I'm like, I tell him, but he doesn't understand it. No. And Brinley literally understands it. Like, yeah, like it's happening to her right then. So that's been so nice. But yeah, literally just thinking about becoming moms together, seeing each other as moms. And then I just think of like our five-year-old kids just freaking running around. They're gonna be They're at the same. Gonna be friends. Yeah. They're always gonna have a friend that. Or hopefully they, they like might each hate other. each other at times, but that's okay. They'll still <laughs> love each other. But I think it'll just be so fun. Um, do you have any names picked out? No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going through it right now. <laughs> you need some water. You have your name already. Yeah, I have my name already. You guys are gonna love it. It's so cute. I'm so excited. I just, it's so awesome because me and Topher both love it. But I will say, I don't, I am not saying it out loud. Like, I'm not being like, I'm not calling the baby its name. Yeah. Because I just don't, I don't know. Like, I wanna like. I don't wanna get sick of it. Don't wanna get sick of it. And two, I wanna see his face before I give him his name. But I know the name we're going with, which is super fun. You don't have any names? Well, it helps too once you figure out if it's a boy or girl. Yeah. Because you can just narrow down on what ones you like. Yeah. Um, who's going to watch your baby when you are at work? 
Well, guys, I don't know. <laughs> I will. So I... I'll be able to breastfeed your baby. Oh, uh, that sounds weird. So I get three months of, like, maternity leave. And then from there, I'm kind of just going to assess, like... I really just want to see how it is being a mom. Like, if my yeah. baby's healthy, everything goes good. Maybe that three months is good enough and I can figure out the schedule. But Donnie's mom's available. I've got sisters. I got my mom. So... Yeah. We'll kind of just see how it goes. Yeah. Try not to stress over it. Three or 12 so weeks okay. is awesome though. No, yeah. because some girls only get like eight weeks. Is that usually what it is? She get another I month. Oh no. That's awesome. Okay. Do you think y'all will do a pregnancy shoot together? Yes. 100%. We got to do a little belly shoot. In yeah. our bikinis. <laughs> or nude. Just kidding. We have already thought about it. We, we have. Are. We have to, for sure. It'll be so freaking funny. So we're actually going on a family trip. We already have it planned in the summer. We're going to Lake Powell. If there's water, uh, it'll be fine. We're going at the end of May. So at that point, I'll be, at the end of May, I'll be 36 weeks pregnant. And Brindley will be... 32. Like, we'll both be very, very, very we'll pregnant. We'll be 33. Oh. <gasps> and we're probably going to be miserable, but we th we're like, we're going to get some little donut floaties. We're going to put our bellies in the donut floaties and just float away. Yeah. We're like, bye. But it'll be so fun. We'll do bikini pics with our bellies. I'm so excited to have but a no, belly. We just, oh, yeah. <gasps> I'm getting a belly and it's. Well, no, like the huge one. I don't want a huge one. It'll be so fun. I'm gonna have You can a use it as like a, a stand. A rest. <laughs> yeah. I think so. The difference about me, we could, I mean, who knows? But I think we are gonna, gonna look so different. Yeah. Because Brinley's tall and long, has a really long torso. Like, I can see you just having this cute freaking, like, little bump. <laughs> and then I can see me literally looking like I have a watermelon inside of me. Whatever. I mean, who knows? But I just have a short to torso. And already, I feel like, I mean, I'm, it's normal to show at this point. Yeah. But I'm like, gosh. That is so funny. I know. I, like, I'm starting to feel a little bit more hard tissue right here. Dude, you have to, at once we're done, you have to fill my belly. I thought it was hard. <laughs> Wait till you fill my freaking belly. Oh, I can't. That's so funny. But yeah, it's fun when to get, I was telling my friend, I'm like, it's so fun. It feels like I have like a little, it's not even big yet, but I'm like, I feel like I have a little accessory that I'm like, mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, I can't wait. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Brinley, was it hard hearing that Jensen got pregnant so easily? Um, I mean, it was, but I was still so happy for her. Yeah. And I was at a point where I like did not, really like know what my fertility journey would be like we were actively actively trying i'll go more into it for three months and people actively try for years on end and then finally get pregnant yeah so i was kind of just like it's not my time like it's her time i get to enjoy her newborn get yeah. to be just super excited for her but at the same time obviously i'm like yeah. well, why am i different yeah but totally. it really was like the slightest feeling of like, I'm never gonna get pregnant. Yeah. But yeah. Are you guys planning an at home birth or hospital birth? Definitely. Medicated or natural? Definitely not at home. No. Or natural? No. Nope. No. No. Give me all the meds, give me all the doctors, give Literally me all the resources. Make me numb. And I said that in my pregnancy Q and A, and people are like, sometimes the epidural work doesn't work, and that would probably be my <laughs> nightmare. <laughs> I, yeah, like I had an, a little tiny experience when I got my IUD put in and I said, absolutely not. That my cervix was this far open. <laughs> so yeah, I think definitely a, a hospital birth because it's both our first. We don't know what could happen. And two, I want to be somewhere where if anything goes wrong, they can fix it right there. An epidural for sure. What will your parenting styles be like? Hmm. I think we're so similar because we came from the same family, our parents. Mm -hmm. But it'll be different with Donnie and Topher. Yeah. Donnie will that's, for sure be the strict one. Topher's going to be like, whatever you want, baby. 
and I'm gonna have to be the mean one because that's how it is with Ace. Literally, like with our dog, Tover just is like, just loves our dog so that much. That is so funny. So I'm probably gonna be the strict one. If Honey even looks the wrong way, Donnie's like, hey! <laughs> but it'll just be fun. Literally, I, that's probably the most excited thing is just to see, I mean, to see you as a mom uh -huh. and then it's just so fun. I know. It's just a new role that we've never had. And I know it's gonna be so freaking hard, but it'll be so nice, literally how this has been so hard that we've been able to talk together, that it'll be so nice that we can like talk together about oh, postpartum totally. and all of that stuff. Yeah. So it'll be awesome, but we're gonna end there. We hope you enjoyed this little video. It was really fun. What we should do, I think it'd be so fun because me and Lindsay did, um, compared our first trimesters but we should do that because it's more like me and you are pregnant right now. Yeah. So once you, you're in the second trimester. Mm -hmm. So once we get done with the second trimester, we'll do a video that like, we'll like compare things. But we want to do a lot of these things together because it's so fun to document it. So let us know in the comments what kind of videos you want to see from us. And yeah, thanks for watching guys. Yeah, thanks Bye. for watching.